Woof. And it's back. Oh, you got some little fit. Whoa, Grumpy's out there right now. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Tank Tuesday. Today we're gonna to be checking out the tank three times magnified. Yeah, we're gonna go through all the dope corals. Thanks so much to my friends over at Flipper for sponsoring this video. We got some super cool stuff to try out today, starting with the four inch magnifying glass. I've seen it on other people's videos. You just see some crazy up close shots, especially if you're in like that perfect, hold on. I, I'm gonna show you guys the perfect range. The perfect range, you know what I mean? Like what's going on? Like this, you know? Then we can get really nice shots on those corals. Along with the deep sea viewer, this is the four inch one. They have different sizes. I believe they go up to five inches. We also got the orange filter to throw on there because we're gonna have to throw this tank in blue lights and then really just see all the colors pop. You know what I'm saying? So let's just go ahead and get into it. Regular tank vibes, you guys can see everything, but it's just, it's just normal also. All of a sudden these have started to get a little bit white. The only thing that's changed is the GFO. I don't know if that's what's going on. Anyway, all right, so back to the tank. You see everything, everything looks beautiful, but how much nicer would they look three times magnified, you know what I mean? So the deep sea viewer, like I said, the one that I have is four inch, the four inch one. It actually comes with the magnet on the back, so that way if you wanted to, you could just keep it on the tank ready to go and you could just move it to wherever you want. We are gonna do that on some pieces that we know have good color. First, I'm gonna do it handheld. Holy crap, I'm really far from this right now, but just look at look at how dope this is. I'm probably a solid foot away, and it says max, uh, it says the best is between like three to eight inches. Mr. Yellow Tang is looking sick. What's up, bud? New York Knicks is looking nice. Pretty close to the glass, so it's not really like in the optimal optimal range, but it still does give it a nice little magnification. Something a little weird I'm finding right now is that it will look super magnified here and I'm putting the camera up to it and it takes away a lot of the magnification. I don't know if it's this camera specifically. I'm gonna try it with my phone because I, like the polyps look huge in person and then with the camera, it does not look huge. I don't know what's happening. Figured it out. I just have to put the camera farther away from the magnifying glass. These rainbow infusions are super close to my glass too, so that's why I'm kind of holding it away from it. Look at this one. It's actually slowed its growth. It was growing really crazy for me before. I had like so many pieces I couldn't get rid of them. And then it kind of just slowed down, which I'm not complaining about because it's a nice size. Let's save these polyps for when we throw the lights in blue. Look how much growth we've had on this season's greeting. He's almost back to where he was, which is super sick. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Nice little Duncans, nice little Sino, you know, but it's, it's getting better, so little by little. You have to get the right distance is, is what the thing is here. Mushrooms, like they're way back there. So <laughs> I gotta flip over that coral. I'm gonna pick a couple that I feel look the best and show you guys a side by side of what the camera in the exact same spot, magnified and not magnified. You guys know what time it is. It is time to throw these lights in blue and use this orange filter. This is super clutch as an attachment. I mean, obviously you guys don't see me doing it, but I have to like hold sunglasses over this camera to be able to shoot these colors nicely and when I throw the lights in blue for you guys. I'm sure you guys have seen the clip-ons that go onto the phone, but I don't record with my phone. Flipper also carries an orange filter kit for the phone, so check that out if you guys do shoot a lot of stuff with your phones. But having this on the deep sea flipper is freaking clutch. The magnets are like felt material inside, so you know you're good to go and not have to worry too much about scratching your glass and stuff like that. Look at that, that looks so crazy. Seeing it with against the rest of the tank without the orange filter is actually pretty dope too. You get the magnifying and you get the uh, the orange filter. See if I go a little closer, what happens? I feel like it's all about your perception of like how far you are from, from the magnifying glass to make it work best. I'm gonna give it a zoomer on the camera too. Those look amazing. Look at that bottom polyp. There we go. That looks awesome. I wanna show you guys this cool little spotlight that they got too. It comes with a little piece of double-sided tape. It's not just like one spot, it pivots. This little thing, look how small it is, also has two lights. It's got a white one, boom! Look how bright that is. 
So imagine if you had it here. I would say this has got to be awesome for if you're looking for critters at night when the lights are off and stuff like that. But this thing is bright for this little light. And then let me turn this one off. It also has a blue one. Super cool little uh, light if you're hunting down critters. Let's move this guy to the Zoa Garden. I think we're gonna go. Um, I'm pretty sure you could probably just move this around. I just like to be extra safe. I'm super crazy about. Oh yeah, look at those Bam Bams. Woo! I haven't even positioned the camera right yet. Oh yeah, look at those things. Freaking beautiful. Oh, and I'm overexposed too. Let me bring it back down so you can actually see it. I think I gotta go higher a little bit, you know, so you guys can get the full on, the full on view of these guys. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Those Bam Bams have just been flourishing. Where are we gonna go? Next up, I think we go to the Bubblegum Digi that has been growing back. Bubblegum, Bubblegum, does whatever a Bubblegum does. Oh yeah, look at that guy. So sick. It's so crazy, look at it from this angle, how you see it and then you see everything else. The orange filter is a must. I'm just gonna reiterate, the orange filter on these deep sea viewers is a must. If, if you can put your lights in blue, that is. But if you can't, then you can just get the spotlight and that way you can get the blue and the orange filter and the magnification. It's a freaking win-win situation across the board. I love being able to see it magnified with everything else next to it, just tiny. It makes it so much cooler. I know you guys see that green that's coming back. We got growth coming up this wall over here again. The green is coming back. I wonder if this is all gonna get green under here, under the base again, or if only the new tips will get the green. Super sick. Look at all that crap floating around in my water. Oh, that's because a snail. Look, oh, let's look at the snail. <laughs> look how massive that snail looks. We're gonna feed some of those nice things that look crazy when they eat, like the blastos the Acans, and possibly the Duncans, I think, as well. I got some frozen Mysis chunks. I'm gonna bring up the concoction, and we are going to see these things just... Uh, the thing is, it, it's kind of tricky, you know, because sometimes if something accidentally broadcasts across the tank, then the other thing you want to direct feed will close before you even get a chance to do it, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna try my best to keep it targeted at that one thing I'm hitting so we can see the full evolve like of the coral closing in on it. I'm excited. Look at all these fish attacking. Ready? I feel like I'm not really sure if that was the best um, execution, but you can definitely see some dope stuff going on right now. And it closing is sick. Let me see if I can get these eight fans closing a little bit too. Oh no, my lights just switched. Shit. I'm on it, guys. I'm on it. Oh man, we're gonna miss the whole contraption. Radions. Presets. All blue. Woof. And it's back. Oh, you got some little fit. Whoa, Grumpy's out there right now. And the snail, look, he's coming for it too. Hey, Mr. Snail, what's going on, buddy? The tang, everybody's hungry. That looks crazy. Are you guys ready? Here we go. If the fish would let the coral eat, we'd be all right, you know? Look at this clownfish. Dang, dog, you guys act like your owner doesn't feed you. What is this? Unbelievable. These guys are our final attempt here for feeding. They're the bigger polyps that I got. These fish are out of control. I bet you guys didn't think you were going to get magnified fish views too, you know? Oh, that snail's gonna cross perfectly, right? <laughs> nice U-turn, buddy. Oh, there's another one coming up. Wow, this is some this is some interesting stuff here. All right, is he gonna cross it all the way? Nope, he's gonna make a U-turn as well. All right, sounds good. Good talk, good talk. This thing is sick. Time to put my lights back to normal so my fish don't freak out. I'll drop links to all this stuff in the description for you guys. I highly recommend getting the orange filter if you go this route because it just makes everything so much better being able to check it out in blue lights. So there we go guys, my entire tank magnified. That was sick. Looking at some of these corals up close is just like, it's a whole different ball. Like, I feel like there's stages. You know, when you see the tank normally, it's crazy. Then you throw the lights in blue and you see how the colors pop even more, it's crazy. Then you magnify it, it's freaking crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's just, there's levels to this.
You know where I'm going with it? There's levels. This is really gonna bring a nice little feature to the fish room here, especially when we're trying to, I don't know, observe stuff. Could you imagine this in the little tank? Oh, maybe we'll throw it on some jellyfish. It's good for acrylic and glass. Possibilities for the future, people, possibilities. Thanks again so much to Flipper for sponsoring this video. I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe button and turn those notifications on. We got new videos every single week. You're gonna wanna be here for it. See you guys in the next one. Later.